G'day. When you're retired, people think you've got all the time in the world. Well, I suppose you do, but you've also got a lot of other demands on your time as well, you know, such as, as you've seen, mowing lawns or weeding gardens and stuff like that. But I suppose the other thing you've got to do too is maintain your other vehicles, and you know, not just your bus. So this week we're stepping away from the bus and... Um, we're going to do some a job on a car uh, that I own and as you know I already um, told you I, I own the troop carrier as well as uh, uh, the bus. Uh, you saw the troop carrier in the video where we recovered the bogged. Um, we can see it in the background there actually. Recovered the bogged, um, uh, recovered the bogged bus. But I also have another car and uh, so we're going to do a little work on that and uh, here we go. Actually that's not it, I was just kidding. This is the one over here. Here she is. This one. And as you can see this is kind of like the uh, lounge room for the dog. But it's a Volvo XC90. Um, which is really my daily runabout. Uh, this is the one that I probably use most of the time. It's the sort of shopping cart and, you know, occasionally we'll take a road trip like I did uh, yesterday in it. Um, I guess it's probably convenient to drive. Anyway, the first thing that we've got to do um, with doing some maintenance to it, what it needs is um, new engine mounts. It's a bit noisy or rumbly, I should say, more than anything else. And um, so I've got them, well, it's just a matter of putting them in. But um, first thing first, let's open her up, take her for a test drive, and hear what she sounds like now. Well, let's. Um Let's take it up to the shed and uh, we get stuck in. These are the engine mounts here. There's this one here, which belongs over there. There's this one here, which belongs in there. And then this one, which is the main one, which belongs in underneath that cover. You can just see the back of it sticking out there. So we'll go ahead and get the cover off, hey? Uh, the cover just lifts off with a, a bit of encouragement, like so. And you can now see that engine mount here. Now first of all we've got to take off this torsion bar. Now I've no idea why but it's a 15 mil on top and then the, the can you see that? the Enough underneath is an 18, and that's what we need to take those two, those two uh, bolts off to get the torsion bar off. Now with the um, those two uh, bolts and nuts removed reach into the torsion bar and the easiest way I can see is to remove this central bolt through that engine mount um, which is holding the torsion bar to it. Let's have a look at that. Now the nut and the bolt that went through the centre of that, which you can see here, um, were both 18 mil. And once you've got that off, you could just lift the um, torsion bar right off the top of these mounts over here. Next thing is to remove, you can see here, there's one, two, three, four uh, bolts which hold that or three maybe three and then one small one which is actually only holding this uh, this this tubing on 
this bracket needs to come off the front as well. So let's get stuck into that. So those bolts are um, 13 mil. The one in the front is not, it's eight mil. So that's that one in there. Uh, that one there. And there's actually a th another bolt which is underneath here. So we're gonna have to remove this, this here. It looks like there's two nuts there to pull that cover off. Okay, so it wasn't just those two, which is there and there. There's actually two down the back in there and down there, which you'll need an extension bar for. After that, you could just lift this off. Yeah, you really need to get it out of the way because all you've got to do is get to that nut, which you can see underneath there, I think. That's all you've got to get to. Now there was one more uh, which is here and that was right at the back and it was holding a uh, that tubing on at the back there so that needs to be loosened and that's just an 8 mil nut but you can see from this how loose that is and why there might be some engine knock. Anyway what we're going to do is take this off the front put it on the new one and then put the whole thing back together again. So we bolted the um, we bolted that bracket on the on the new one here. And what's interesting is that this one doesn't actually have the threaded hole for the mounting for that uh, bracket at the rear, but it's the same tubing that's anchored here. So I'm not too concerned about that short amount of travel to be anchored back there. So all I've done is is uh, put a nut and a bolt in the bracket so it doesn't fall off and it's still there for next time if someone does buy another one. Now the new mount's on, um, and now what we're going to do is put this cover back on. So there's those four bolts, there's two in the front and then two at the back, without dropping any. Okay, the... Um, Mounts back on and that engine covers back on and uh, we haven't dropped a thing yet. So now we're onto these. Now these are um, these are the bushes at each end of the torsion bar. And this is the replacement here. Now they look identical but they're actually not. If you have a look at this one here you'll notice that there's no hole here, here and here. And on the other side, there's a hole in this one, and that's obviously to accommodate that. So this one here is the right hand side, and the other one the left. Let's get into that.
Yeah, that's about an easier job as it was possible to do. The, um, there's no nuts on the bottom, so just threaded um, inserts. And they're both in. But you'll note that they're an elongated hole, so I haven't uh, tightened those up just yet because we may need to make some adjustment once we put that torsion bar on. So what we're going to do is line up the torsion bar with that hole in the middle of the, uh, of the mount right there. So the torsion bar goes on like so. And then we need to thread that bolt through the middle. Now just before we tighten any of that up, we'll put the uh, bolts through here and here to see if we need to make any adjustments at the other end of that bracket. We'll do is we'll tighten up the uh, tighten up the torsion bar first here and here and then we can see if we need to make any adjustments there if there's any tension on it so it should sit uh, without any tension on it while it's stationary like this Check, double check and triple check here um, that you've tightened everything up. So we did it there. We did it there, we've done it there. And all we've got left to do now is to put the engine cover back on and road test the vehicle. Job well done. Because we'll um, take it for a test drive now and see what she goes like. The other thing we always do too is just make sure we've always got the tools that we <laughs> started out with. You recall um, that when I was pulling a panel off on the bus, I found a 12 mil socket in the back, which um, someone's probably still scratching their backside, wondering where the hell that went to. Well, we just took it for a test drive and it's better, but I wouldn't say it's great. I mean, you can probably hear it now idling and um, there's still a bit of noise there. And uh, I, this, this two other engine mounts, which are not real easy to get to, but maybe I'm gonna have to tackle that at some point in the future, but it's an improvement. So I'm, I'm happy so far. And it wasn't a big job, it took maybe, two hours or so all up so not a huge job 